Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of a funny video for you today because we're going back in time because I made a bit of a boo-boo. I was going through and like archiving all of my footage from last year. I realized I had totally forgotten to share one of my US vlogs. I don't know if you guys remember, last year I went to the States and from that trip, I just had so much content. So I was sharing vlogs for weeks afterwards. I know why I forgot to do this one. It was because I was waiting for the podcast with Tori to go go live and then I just forgot about it. So <laughs> I actually only just realised that podcast did go live in July. Like I just had, I hadn't even gone and watched it or, you know, listened to it. This vlog, it, it basically shared behind the scenes of me creating a, a reel with, with Tori. Not just Tori, sorry, Bon Bon as well. Tori's amazing little dog, a little dancing dog. We also did podcasts, so you'll see excerpts from us filming that and recording that. And then we went to New York and I was like, I'm gonna vlog in New York. But I got to New York and I was just so tired. I just wanted to enjoy it and not vlog. I guess also what that meant was I never finished that vlog either. So I think it was kind of sitting there waiting for me to intro and outro it. And that's what I'm doing now. So let's go back to LA. I'm off to meet Tori, who I've met on social media. She has a large following across TikTok and Instagram like me, but for her it's dancing. So it's really cool what she does and she's always doing these fun videos with her dog as well, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to meet her today. I think we're going to do a collab together, but I'm also going to go on her podcast. So yeah, let's see where the rest of this vlog goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is hi. good. Oh, you guys are vlogging this? this? Look at you. Yeah. What a good Instagram husband. Yeah. I'm Tori. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, I got a real oh, close up on camera there. Yeah, that like a videographer nice. occasionally. Okay. When we left him in, in Washington, he flew back to the UK. Are you mad at him? How come you left him there? <laughs> <laughs> and Lauren Flyman on with me from the UK. She was furloughed and bored during lockdown in April 2020, and she decided to get her hand in jump rope instantly became obsessed and fell in love. I started this profile, but I really, honestly, I didn't follow it from my personal account. I didn't link it to my personal account at all because I didn't want any of my friends or family oh, wow. to know. It was, I didn't want to be public about it. I mm. literally just wanted to kind of tap into this small community. But obviously to do that on social media, you do still have to have a public account yeah. so that people can see you Who as well. Who you are. In their, yeah. yeah. And I literally would lean my phone against a paint can and just film myself mm -hmm. and just be like, this is where I've got to today. And then, one thing led to another and I guess after maybe a month or so people even then people were like stumbling across me and then asking me for tips on how to get started and within a month yeah wow. yeah and, and I think because I was even sharing like just a bit of pro like a progress video mm -hmm. on something really simple then I was like well maybe I should actually actually make more of an effort with my content mm -hmm. and think about people who are getting into this because yeah. there are loads of things I did wrong at the start and I wish I'd known and mm -hmm. so that's what I did I started sharing that sort of content Obviously, I got better and better. I ordered a tripod off Amazon. I got the right rope, so I was like learning properly as well. Really important to have something I could do so easily at home and enjoy so much at home mm. on my own. But I, I really focused on that, yeah. and it got to a point where actually my inspiration was more coming from like the shuffle community and i was figuring out what i can take from that and do with the rope mm -hmm. and then that was inspiring the jump rope space as well yeah. i remember there was one with eminem lose yourself it was actually just freestyling just doing footwork from the side on uh -huh. and i think the music is quite i think that probably appealed to maybe even like boxers and more like men as well yeah who, like that looked kind of cool the type of music it was and then i think by the end of 2020 i was i'd nearly hit 100k Secu it's security at the end of the day but that's what we all chase we all want that security yeah. but actually my job hadn't given me security exactly. during that time yes. and <laughs> they were making redundancies i was actually like well, I'm going to go now because it's safe. if I'm not going to go, it saves someone a job as well. So it was, mm -hmm. there was that. It was quite a nice thing to be like, rather than me leaving a month, having regretted not leaving. Yeah. It's like they didn't then didn't have to make more redundancies for my team. Mm -hmm. So that was good. But it was like, they were, the fact is, they were still making redundancies. So what what's happening? secure about that? Exactly. You know? I say still, that all the time. Because people ask me, they're like, is being a content creator financially stable? Is yeah. it secure? And I'm like, your secure job. Yeah. 
yeah. is not secure. You could lose it exactly. at any moment. And I think the most secure thing that you can do is develop your own skills and your own mindset yeah. that no matter what, you know you're gonna be okay. Exactly. You're, and I've been inspired by a couple of your videos where you are actually like kicking the troll comments mm -hmm. away and stuff like that and getting yeah. the comments. And, and I'm wondering how you dealt with that, if it's had an impact on you, how you've been able to manage it over the last yeah. few years. I think for me, I've mostly though, I've, I've just learned whatever someone's commenting on is, I think like nine times out of 10, it's something that they're insecure about. Mm -hmm. So if they're commenting on your body, mm -hmm. they're insecure about their body. If they're commenting, this is boring, or that's mm -hmm. really easy, like why is everyone going crazy about this? It's like, they probably tried it and can't do it themselves. Yeah. We all watch things on social media and not everything is for you. Not everyone will see my video and want to watch it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you just scroll past. Yeah. If you don't enjoy it, just scroll past. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes like people say really mean things. Yeah. And you're just like, what the hell? Like, yeah. what did I do to make you so angry? And I agree. And I think that there's just really because there's this thing where you're just supposed to ignore them or yeah. not give them any attention. I think there's no repercussions for like bad behavior or bullying on the internet. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I've replied to comments and then that person deleted their comments yes, because they regretted well. what they said. Yeah. And I was like, if I can say something and yeah. then make this person exactly. think twice before so they true. leave a mean comment to someone else, yeah. then you're doing something good, yeah. you know? Like, I've started to actually say, I'm sorry that you, you watched this video and mm -hmm. that's the first thing you thought about. Then like, someone comments on my body, you must put this sort of pressure on yourself as well yeah. to comment on my body. Mm -hmm. What sort of pressure do you put on yourself? I'm really sorry that you feel this way. That is it. That is a wrap. I'm like so crazy that you're here from the UK. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Bon Bon, you're, you're a little tear, but it's fine. Yeah. Still got white skies. I'm gonna go and try and very quickly, very quickly, something together. But I think to be fair, sometimes simplicity does. Hits really well. I yeah, think. I know. So, I've noticed I'm like, yeah. why am I trying so hard? Yeah. And then the harder and more complicated it gets, I'm like, why did I spend so much time I think on especially that? with what we're doing, so I think I've seen other jump ropers do mm. stuff with shufflers. Yeah. And I think it, you can keep it simple and people still like, this is such a cool idea. Yeah. If we can get Bon Bon in the video too. Yeah. Can we get Bon Bon jump in the rope? Oh, he's not oh. there yet. <laughs> you know I, I think I learned that from your TikTok. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> And then open it, and then we could go into like a poly. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're too bad. Oh. 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 You know what? It's a build up. I never do little dancey things at the start. on short. So, first uh, try! Yeah, yeah, first try! First try! Mm -hmm. oh. I will link it in the description so you can go and check it out. Aww! So, <laughs> thank you, Tori, for clabbing with me. So and Bon Bon. Um, bon Bon will take his uh, cut of the money whenever you're ready. <laughs> I think next time I see you, we'll be in New York. So I'll see you there. I did not do much vlogging in New York at all. By the time we got there, I was just like, it, like the whole trip in America was so full on and um, every day like I was filming content and doing loads. And actually by the time we got to New York, I was like, I just want to relax here. So I literally did like one collab with Becky from Jump Rope Sisters, cause she just happened to be in New York at the same time. But other than that, we just spent the time, you know, going around, seeing all the main attractions and eating, drinking, sleeping, winding down after a busy trip. And also I think the, the jet lag started to kick in to be honest, because obviously traveling over from the West Coast. So we started to get jet lagged and then obviously that really kicked in 
when we got back to the UK. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I really loved doing that collab with Tori. She's just so, she's got such great energy and it was so much fun with little Bon Bon as well. If you want to go and listen to the full podcast, it was a really interesting chat with Tori. I will pop the link below so you can go and check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are looking to get started with jump rope, I've got all my ropes and mats linked in the description with a discount code and also my app Fancy Feats where you can learn to do all the tricks and skills you see in my videos. And there's a free seven day trial. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next videos. I've got loads of really interesting topics to talk about this year. I'm excited to bring you more YouTube videos this year and I'll see you in my next video. That's a wrap, innit?